This has to be the worst start to a working morning I've ever had. My rear view mirror fell off, put my key in and the battery's dead. I've encountered a meltdown of the tube system. I've then decided to try and board a bus, but every bus is full. I don't know what spirits I've annoyed. This is the moment I, can I even honk? I can't even fucking honk the horn. I just want to honk the horn in frustration. But look, problem solving. It's always been a problem of mine. Been left with no option but to walk. I feel like this would be a problem for, for anyone in any job, position, company. But when you're making daily content and you're already behind, I'm getting anxious. I'm getting very anxious. We're always going to have problems. It's how you deal with those problems. Drive, mother, drive! This isn't a good look for the company. I'm coming, Harry Hugo, I'm coming! I've arrived at Senor Hugo's house. Hello. Hello. You snuck into the house. I feel a bit sick. I've got, my stomach is in knots. Problem after problem after problem. But it ties into what I was going to ask you anyway. Really. Go on. It's as if the vlog universe went. Do you know what? We're gonna we're gonna write this narrative for you. You're still on time. You're early. Previous Matt <laughs> would have just not shown up. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about problems in business. <laughs> Look, when you start a business, the whole thing is around problem solving, and I think that probably separates from people that can run their own business and, and, and can't is people that are, have the ability to problem solve or deal with the stress of problems for us and how we stay sane around problems is the fact that there's three of us and we can talk about them but i also relish those times i relish problems what so, is yeah. going on it's like... tornado <laughs> <laughs> jesus i'm getting <laughs> You get better because you become more decisive. I don't think you get better at actually making the right decision or not. I think you just get better at being more decisive and sticking with your gut. You're going to make wrong decisions. I think it's just making quick wrong decisions and being able to fix those things is, is, is much better than making slow bad decisions. We're very willing to put our neck out, you know, with, with as much information as we can gather in that time, but we won't draw out a long decision, which is why we get frustrated with like RFPs that take six months. How can it take you that long to make a decision over like three agencies it, it just can't you must know who you want to go with just just tell them and work it out step one is don't panic uh, and then step two is write it down step three is figure out what the hell to do cut through that calendar like a hot knife <laughs> correct yeah this is that exact phrasing i'd use yeah i feel like i end up dealing with a lot of sort of like last minute sort of like quick problem solving that needs to happen. Like there might be a crisis situation, like somebody's stuck at the airport. It's usually a case of let's work together to find a solution. Holding let's hands. Find, pardon? Holding hands, saying. Let's find a solution together. We can make this work. We know that you want to achieve X. We're going to do Y, but we work it out because we're partners. I believe in you. I want you to answer without thinking about it, because otherwise you'll give me the fake answer. Sure. What's your biggest recurring problem at work? Time zone's terrible. Like, why is it nine o'clock here and six o'clock somewhere else? Like, come on. Oh, the, the general sort of idea of time zones you have a problem with. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I just don't get to speak to all, you know, all the great people down in Sydney and in Wellington, all over the world. It's a great thing we're a global agency. It's just been great to spend a bit more time with these people. Travel budget. Should we say that? Why not get, get off to Indonesia, all the great innovation they bring to market? Mm -hmm. Why not get out there and create some uh, daily vlog content? You would also absolutely love Goat live streaming studio that we have in Indonesia. Goat runs the live streaming uh, capabilities for Unilever. Meet yeah. you, 2024. Let's get it done. In Indonesia. A pack tour. I like coming to people now and saying, I've got two topics. Yeah. My second topic, I perform a role. Is it obvious to people that I'm performing a role? Because I'm, I'm slightly worried that people might see me as, as unprofessional when in fact... Great question. And I think as we move into this kind of like group setting now, just outside of just the GO agencies bubble, and now into Nexus and Group M and WPP is like people looking and go, why is he doing all this crazy? Why is he jumping over that chair? <laughs> it's all in the name of PR, I suppose. And we, we've we always been the unconventional business. We want to do things in different ways and we want to get our name out there as much as every other agency does, get in front of people, get in front of the people that are going to you know, engage us as an agency. And we've never been the ones to get the right up in the times or necessarily go and speak on stage. That's, that's just not been our style. Our, our style was, why don't we just show people what we do and how we do it and why we do it and why we think things. And I think that kind of authentic, genuine look on the world is kind of that beautiful mirror image to what we're selling, which is influencer marketing, which is authentic look on the world from people that are doing things in their life. and. 
it's done us done us well but you perform that role very well you capture those moments those are the moments that people online have cherished when they've watched this vlog so it's not unprofessionalism it's managed unprofessionalism <laughs> I can't say it's not unprofessionalism because I've seen you do some very unprofessional things. All right, au revoir. Au revoir. Go on, just pretend like you're doing some work. It's like a pretend. I'm actually watching you. Are you? What? That's me. It is, yeah. I'm watching, I'm reviewing a vlog. In the future. <laughs>